what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? 29-year-old Lawrence Story of Green Township in Ohio has a story to tell. The police slapped the case on her after they saw her in a video in an alley shooting up in front of her four-year-old son. A neighborhood watchman by the name of John Donaldson is the person who filmed the video and sent it to the police to expose her. This is what the prosecutor had to say at her arraignment. People have sympathy for people who use heroin, but that sympathy ends when you're doing it in front of your children. She's being held on a $22,000 bond on charges of child endangerment and possession of drug paraphernalia and drug abuse instruments. The prosecutor said people have sympathy for people who use heroin, but that sympathy ends when you're doing it in front of your children. I think not. Drug abuse is a very, very hard addiction to break. People get cleaned up and relapse. Cleaned up, relapse. Cleaned up, relapse. I'm telling you this. I doubt very seriously if there is a person who says, I want to be a junkie. I doubt if there's a person out there like that. Like, I really like being a junkie. I like being at the mercy of others. I like embarrassing myself. I like feeling humiliated and being ashamed to be around my family members and loved ones. I don't think it's a person out there like that. And if it is, that person is a needle in a haystack. And I know a lot of y'all people out there who are perfect, don't make any mistakes. I know you can't, you can't hear, you don't want to hear nothing about all of that. All you see is a person doing wrong and you go in. And for my black brothers out there, my black sisters out there, I know y'all going in. I know some of y'all are out there just really just going in. Just simply because she's white. The thing about drug addiction is that it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care about your ethnicity. It doesn't care about how much money you have in the bank or in your pocket. It doesn't care if you're cute. It doesn't care how much you weigh. It doesn't care about your background, your religion. It just doesn't care. It doesn't discriminate. Drug addiction is a universal issue. It's a universal problem. So I think we have to be very careful when we start attacking people who succumb to drug abuse. Y'all keep in mind, there are a lot of us out there who are enablers. It's not just the drug dealers who give them these drugs that enable them. A lot of times, People's introduction to drug abuse comes at the hands of prescription drugs. But nobody's looking at the big pharmaceutical companies and nobody's calling the doctors thugs and gangsters. Nobody's trying to arrest the owners of CVS and Walmart. They're not trying to arrest the owners of Walgreens. They're not trying to arrest the owners of Walgreens and what is it called? Something rights I've seen up on the East Coast. But regardless, whatever the name of the company is, these people who are licensed to deal drugs, nobody ever calls them out. Nobody calls out the advertisers, the ad agencies, the networks that air these commercials about pharmaceutical drugs. Nobody calls out Hollywood for glamorizing drug use or the music industry. 
Well, well, the music industry does get called out. Music industry get called out a lot. But you catch my drift. Drug addiction is a problem for everybody. And I can guarantee you, if you're not on drugs, if you're watching this video and you're not on drugs, somebody in your family on drugs. Somebody that you love is addicted to drugs. This is why you got to be careful when you start throwing them rocks at folks. You got to be real careful. If we spent our money, if we spent half as much money on educating our youth, on rehabilitating a people who are on drugs, man, we could almost wipe this problem out. Drug use, much of it is recreation, starts recreational, but a whole lot of it is people who are in pain, people who are suffering, people who are hurting, and they're self-medicating to try to get through the day. I know at the end of the day, we're all responsible for our own actions. And you got to be double responsible when you bring a kid into the world. But I can guarantee you that woman did not say, you know what? I'm going to be a drug head. I'm going to be a junkie. And I want to have a baby. And I want to I wanna be a junkie raising a baby. No, just like people who are poor or, and anybody else who have children, everybody gets horny. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of lifestyle you are. I don't care if you're rich or poor. It doesn't matter what your ethnicity is. It don't matter if you can afford to or not. It doesn't matter if you're on drugs. People have sex. Sex is one of the most natural things in the world. People are going to have sex. And so you can't stop it. We would do much better as a nation if we took care of people and we looked at these situations instead of saying it's not my problem and help people, try to give them the assistance that they need. Not a hand out, a hand up. The government gets it because they're actually doing that right now with the heroin, with the heroin epidemic. I say heroin a lot, y'all, because that's one of those hood slangs. We just say heroin, you're on that run, you're on that run. But heroin, we have a people, we have a lot of people that's addicted to heroin. And the government has an initiative to actually try to give people help that's on heroin. They didn't do that for the crack epidemic that largely affected black people, but they're doing it now because it largely affects white people. Now, I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, they'll see how that works and say, and the next time something like that happens in the black community, because it will, maybe they'll say, okay, we're going to help these people instead of trying to put them in jail. Because we're spending more money on locking people up than we are trying to rehab people. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I feel sorry for the kid. That kid has been around a mother who uses drugs. Not only uses drugs, but uses drugs in front of him. And the sad thing about it is that he probably thinks it's normal. Some of y'all, y'all got a problem with that. Y'all got a big problem with the people shooting up, hitting that heroin, right? Hitting the heroin. But you have no problem being up in arms with people who drink a lot. In fact, drinking is really kind of like a sexy thing in our culture. Go to any club right now and everybody turning up. And you see people act, acting out of their character all day long when you go to the club. People drinking drink right out of the bottle. They just, they're not even using glasses right now. 
drinking right out of the bottle and people are stumbling and they're throwing up at the end of the night and people just laugh about it. ha 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 they laugh until somebody wraps their car around a telephone pole and kill everybody in the car they laugh until that happens so alcohol abuse is a big problem too y'all so let's stop trying to act like it's not we got to stop the hypocrisy and the double standards. We got to evenly distribute whatever complaints that we may have or whatever convictions that we have. Our convictions must be consistent. We can't run around here and say, you know, I feel strongly about this and you have something that's comparable to it and then you want to give it a pass. Drug addicts have only one thing on their mind. They have one thing, and that is to get high. It doesn't matter what responsibilities they have. They're incapable of making rational decisions. They're incapable of thinking logically. All they want to do is get high. They know they're supposed to care about their kid and love their parents and be respectful and not do, not engage in criminal activity, but their mind is one track. It's like, get high. And they need help. They need help. Any type of drug abuse yields devastating consequences. And if a person is on drugs, they need help. Not ridicule, not jail. They need help. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Thanks.